There. Can you now see my screen? Yeah. Hooray. Okay. So um, we're going to go over um, lots of different things. Uh, hopefully you guys will get some um, lead generation ideas, but there's a lot that goes into it before you start generating leads. And so um, my goal here is to kind of go over some frameworks with you to help you um, kind of identify who you are as an agent and how you're showing up. And then we'll go into more of understanding your customers and getting into their mind, understanding their pains, their fears, their frustrations, narrowing in on your niche. Um, and then we'll be able to get into the lead generation. Um, that's going to be day three of our challenge. Um, day four is going to be about systems and systematizing what it is that you're doing, um, having some automation, but also utilizing that automation to have those um, interactions and touches with people that, wow. Sorry, guys. I don't know why Facebook is popping up on my screen. Um, but have those interactions, I apologize. And then the fifth step is going to be engaged. So it's about elongating the transaction um, in your real estate business. So we're going to talk about like referral networks and then just that customer experience in general so that we are getting referrals and um, uh, repeat customers and um, creating a network where we're delivering value before and after the transaction. Um, I'll just give you guys a little bit of background. I know that um, a lot of you are members of our new agent tips and tricks groups. And so you probably know a little bit about me. Um, my name is Sarah Montana and I am also from Montana. <laughs> so I have been in the real estate business um, for probably 18 years or so, um, I started doing investment properties. So I um, got into real estate via um, just wanting to kind of create my own passive income. And so I did some flips. I um, started investing in rentals. Um, I eventually went and on to purchase a mobile home park. I have built um, apartment complexes from the ground up. And I just love that whole idea of creating um, wealth and passive income through real estate. And uh, as I got into that, I kind of did, a, I think the reason that a lot of people get into real estate is they go and buy one of their own houses and they're like, wait, this is super easy. Like I should just become a real estate agent. <laughs> um, and I quickly realized that there was a lot that goes into that, but um, I was in my hometown, I had a very large network. My um, family was well known and I have got to get out of this little uh, Facebook thing that keeps popping up there, I'm sorry. Um, but I, so I quickly bought a brokerage. It was a brokerage that was there in town. It had a very well-known name and um, I, I, I got success very quickly. I did 72 transactions in my first year um, and it was in 2015. So it was like right when like text message marketing and all of these things were coming um, into the market and I kind of disrupted my market there and kind of made everyone uh, jump forward because I was wanting to do all of the fun new things. Um, but it was extremely stressful. I got very overwhelmed. I was working 70 plus hours a week and I didn't have the right frameworks and the right systems to like catch up to what the, um, the amount of clients and leads that I was getting. And so um, I had the opportunity a few years later where I actually sold that brokerage and I moved to Las Vegas, um, kind of semi-retired. I had about 75 rental properties at that time and um, just kind of took a little bit of time off. And through kind of a random course of events, I ended up going through a divorce and I moved to Southern Utah 
uh, two years ago. This was in the middle of a global pandemic there. I literally had been to St. George like one time and I did not know a single person. Um, and I had no network. The world was shut down and I decided to rebuild a real estate business, but Fortunately, I had the um, opportunity where I could be very intentional about how I was going about it. Um, and from my experience of being burnt out and not having the right tools and systems, I decided to be very intentional about how I laid out my business. And so I spent several months just creating the frameworks. I created auto plans. I, I thought about my customer journey and I thought about how I wanted to show up as a real estate agent and the experience that I wanted to deliver. Um, I was able to gain, gain traction very quickly. I um, got into a, a system that I use. It's called Brivity. And they helped me do some like lead generation through Facebook ads and things like that. And so essentially with no network, um, I was able to do about 13 million in real estate in my first nine months um, in a town where I didn't know anyone in the middle of a pandemic. Um, that quickly led me to um, start training new agents. I, uh, I became the associate broker at my brokerage and started training the new people. And what I found is that they needed a path or a plan in that beginning stage of their business of a step-by-step -step process of what they could do to start generating leads. And I quickly found that a lot of the people out there were, were giving the same advice of you just have to pay your dues. You just need to go and hit the pavement and knock enough doors and make enough cold calls and you'll be successful. And I'm not knocking that strategy. I am fully aware that there are people out there that are cold calling and door knocking masters and they're running extremely successful businesses. Um, however, that was not for me. It is not authentic to like who I am and how I'm showing up. Um, and I wanted to do something differently. And um, I think that the biggest way that that can, um, that you can change the way that you're showing up and the way that you're going to go about your lead generation is nailing down your pitch and kind of creating your non-negotiables of who you are and how you're showing up in this space. So for me, it was that I was not going to be a pushy salesman. I was not going to have commission breath. I wanted to be authentic and I wanted to actually help people. And so I came up with this value proposition that um, I was going to lead with value and that I was going to help solve the pains of my customers, um, whether or not I got paid. And I know that that's difficult, especially as a new agent, that you want to, um, you need that paycheck. And so that's difficult. But I think that getting into, um, it's it's called your character diamond or your, your alter ego, figuring out how you are going to, um, to come across as an agent, your style of the way that you're going to communicate with people, the way that you're going to um, do marketing, um, the, the messaging behind what it is that you are going to share is very important before you get to, okay, I'm ready to sell you a house. Um, all right. I'm going to check your chats here. Yes, this will be recorded. Um, I'm going to try to share my screen again. Uh, Ray, do you, I, I want to just introduce Ray. Um, if you don't mind just kind of, uh, giving a little bit of, a um, information about who you are. So Ray is my business partner in the biz babes, and she is my right and left hand. She's absolutely amazing. And so just kind of tell her, uh, tell everyone about like who you are and your background. Yeah. Yeah. So my name is Ray. I am not a real estate agent, but I've been in this field for a couple of years now, but my background is actually in consumer marketing. And I also have a lot of operational background as well. I've grown companies to um, many, many heights. Like I've taken some brands from startups to 
uh, 500 locations. And so I definitely know about a lot about consumer marketing. So it definitely ties in with what Sarah was doing. So that's why we kind of make a power team in what we do. And a lot of what I do is um, on social media. So I'm constantly seeing what Sarah is not seeing. So we definitely can uh, come together and say like, well, this is trending now. This is how you should be um, pitching to your consumers, which is your clients. And yeah, so that's that's all we do. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. I think I got out of um, that Facebook thing that was like popping up everywhere. So hopefully people will be able to um, see this better and not. Um, so today our goal is um, our, our system is called Pulse. Okay. So it's what we just went over. We're going to learn about our pitch. We're going to understand our target customer. We're going to talk about lead generation and then systems and then engaging your customer. Today, we're going to talk about your character diamond and how you're showing up. And that involves social media. So that's where Ray comes in. She is our social media genius. And so we're gonna share some templates with you guys um, on the messaging that you're sharing to the world on your profiles. And then um, going and creating confidence and connection through video. Um, so right now I know that you guys are frustrated, especially if you're new. Um, a lot of the complaints that I hear from agents is that they don't have a large network or they are moving into a new area and they don't have that circle of influence. Um, and then coming up and just starting these conversations with strangers is very difficult, especially if you are not um, an outgoing person. And I think that that is a lot of times a, um, a misconception is that you have to be this like crazy extrovert um, to be successful in real estate. And I don't think that's true, but you need to know what your strengths and weaknesses are so that you can create a strategy and a plan around that um, that feels authentic to you, which then will resonate with your, your customer. Um, and so I know you guys want a consistent lead flow, but you want it to feel real and authentic. It, a lot of times, um, you know, at least for me, how it felt was when I was being trained of, Hey, like, you know, just call 10 people a day of go out and reach your, um, friends and family and just ask them if they have plans in real estate in the next few months. It didn't feel real to me. Um, and the people that I had experienced in the past in the industry. And I think the industry as a whole has a negative connotation that we have commission breath. We're always there like wanting that sale. We're asking for the sale, but the problem is that we're asking for the sale before we're giving them the value. And so it comes across very harsh. Um, uh, my uh, fiance calls it an at, you're an asshole or a post hole. You're either like always asking for the sale or you're always posting on social media, you know, telling people of, Hey, I'm a real estate agent. Like, let me sell your home. And especially when you're newer at this, if you think about the way that we're, that that comes across, imagine if someone said, Hey, I'm brand new at brain surgery but I really want you to refer all of your friends and family that need brain surgery because I need to have my first operation. It just doesn't seem um, logical. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll be able to kind of come up with a playbook for you guys that will allow you to um, overcome some of these mistakes and overcome some of these frustrations. So um, I like to liken the real estate uh, like alter ego of who you're showing up as an agent to dating. So like I said, I was recently divorced. And um, if any of you have been in the experience of uh, going back into the dating market um, in your mid thirties, it is quite the experience. Um, and online dating and you're putting out these profiles and you meet these people and you're having all these conversations and imagine if that is what you were putting on your dating profile 
Hey, like I'm a divorce. I'm kind of a disaster. The last uh, situation that I was in ended horribly. Um, but you should definitely set me up with your brother. I feel like that is a good idea. Good idea. Um, can you imagine that that would not uh, go over well? I wish I had feedback from people. I feel so weird just like randomly ch talking up here. Um, so I hope that everyone's at least somewhat. Amber's got your back in the okay, chat. Okay, good. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So say in the comments, like, tell me so that I can see in your comments that like, I'm not being like a completely crazy person. Perfect. Thank you for the feedback. I appreciate that Amber and Claire and Liliana. Okay. Liliana is one of my clients that we had a nice little coaching call with in Cabo. Um, and she is a great agent and we've kind of, I've given her some of the ideas and I'm actually using her area as a little test area for some of the things that we're going to be talking about um, later. So, uh, we're going to go over this framework. Okay. We're going to talk about who we're going to try to help, um, what we're going to be saying and how we're going to say it. Um, and the how of the delivery method of, um, whether we're going to be doing that through text messaging, if we're going to be doing that on, on social media, if we're going to be do it through blogs or through door hangers or mailers, um, we're going to talk about those three things. So, um, sorry, my mouth gets so dry. When you are thinking about your who, you need to realize that it's not about you. It is about them as the customer. So, so often, um, Again, we're we are we're portraying of like, hey, here's this information about me. I'm an agent. This is why I'm great. This is why you should hire me. Um, I've sold this many houses. Um, you know, this is like customer, even customer feedback of giving examples um, of happy customers. While that's valid, and you want to have that on some parts of your social media, you need to realize that their goal, what they're looking for is not to the, the actual transaction of buying a home. The reason behind what they are looking for, you need to understand their pain. Their pain isn't that they want to buy a house. Their pain is that they now have four kids and they're living in a three bedroom home. Or their pain is that they want a new job and the area that they're living in does not have the right opportunities and they need to move to a new location so that they can increase their income. Their pain is that they are now um, uh, empty nesters and they have a, you know, a 5,000 square foot house with stairs and their health is deteriorating and they want to find something that's on one level. Okay, so that is the thing, those are the things that we're trying to understand, and we need to create a strategy to solve those pains. So we, we can't keep just going and shouting from the rooftops that we're a real estate agent, because that message doesn't resonate with the customer. You need to find and you need to be able to explain their pains and their fears and their frustrations better than they can. So we need to be able to create a message that is saying, oh, that is me. You're going to, you're going to share information and you're going to share value and information that answers those questions. Um, then if you go back to the what, um, we talked about your ego or your character diamond. I'm going to give you guys a um, little worksheet um, of just kind of a little exercise tonight. It'll be part of your homework for you to figure out like who you are. Um, what are your non-negotiables um, from, you know, ethical things? Like for me, I don't like to do, um, you know, these salesy pitches where it doesn't feel authentic. Um, I am honest and I will do the right thing over making money every single time. Um, that's a non-negotiable for me. I don't do things that feel yucky to me to get ahead. Um, 
I enjoy working with people that um, are like authentic as well. And so like, I will fire a client if they are not like in line with like who I am as a, not from like a values or like, you know, morals, but just like, I, I want to work with people that I enjoy working with. And I think that that's important for you to kind of figure out who you are as an agent and how you're going to show up. Um, and then Sarah, I was just thinking about the home show, this exact same scenario happened. A lady came up and Sarah was just very nice, very, just giving a lot of value. And this girl just kept saying over and over, like real estate agents were like icky and she didn't want to work with them. And Sarah was definitely trying, but not in a pushy way. She was just essentially asking what the client needed. And it was one of those fits that afterwards, Sarah, after the lady walked away, Sarah was like, you know, I don't think that that's a good fit for me. Like she, Sarah was trying to give her all and the client just did not care. (laughs) And I know that's difficult, especially if you're a new agent, like obviously you want to just like, you want to work with everyone. And I think we'll go more into that tomorrow. Um, when it comes to understanding and narrowing in on your niche, Um, but I think that that is the struggle that a lot of agents do as they don't have clarity around who it is that they are and then who it is that they're helping. And if you just say, what's the phrase that says, if you're for everyone, you're for no one. And so we'll talk more about that tomorrow, about getting very specific on who it is that you're going to help. But yeah, like set your standards in a way of like, you don't have to work with everyone. If you have a jerk, like that's being rude to you, like give yourself those boundaries that you don't have to work with those people. There are enough fish in the sea, I promise. Um, And then we're going to talk about how, so how you're presenting that information. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas from video. I personally feel that video is extremely important in this business. It creates connection it's a way for you to um, share it with multiple people. Um, I think that from a transaction standpoint, um, it allows you to systematize and automate things, but not lose that um, that connection and that um, that personal touch that you want in that client experience. Um, and then we're going to talk about just like, uh, I call it like talk tracks. Okay. So I was just at a real estate convention, um, last week for brevity, um, probably 1200 or so of like the top real estate minds out there. Um, and they talked a lot about scripts and I struggle when it comes to scripts. Um, and I know that there is a lot of power in it and, I think if I can like change my, uh, like my thinking behind it, to me, it seems too like fake of like, you know, you know exactly what you're going to say and you're going in and you're ready to say the next comment and you're ready to like have a rebuttal to whatever it is that your client is saying before they're even done saying it. And so I think that's where I struggle, but there is a way for you to kind of um, have a framework or a talk track of like, these are the things that I'm going to say in this situation, but I just want you to be mindful of that seek first to understand so that you can be understood and don't be in a situation where you're already giving the answer without actually listening to the pains of the customer. Um, I think Ray just included here. So that's our dream client worksheet that you're going to work on tonight. So that's actually getting you ready for tomorrow. Um, but then we'll also share, um, this is the character diamond, Ray. You might have to go into Canva and get a link for that one too, but, um, just kind of go through this and like, think of who you are. So, um, Sarah Montana is actually my, uh, alter ego. It's my character diamond. So, um, my name is actually not Sarah Montana, it's Sarah Smith. Um, but I'm from Montana and that is kind of what I have decided, like who I am as an agent. And, um, I filled these things out of 
yes, I might be a little bit weird. I do things a little bit differently than other people, but that's how I build my business. The tagline for my real estate company is creating a different real estate experience. And so I stand on the platform that I'm not like every other real estate agent and I own it. And so I might be doing things differently, but for the people and the clients that I work no, with, it's they got totally to get okay. the fuck from over here. Whoa. Um, let's make sure we're on mute there. Um, but you know, for an example of me showing up as an agent, um, I, and just very real with my clients. I had an experience um, probably last year or sometime. And um, I had a client that wanted to see a house and it was on a Saturday morning and I was out playing pickleball. Uh, we can, I could talk to you about pickleball forever, but it's essentially, it's an absolutely amazing way to network and connect with people. Um, I have a podcast about it. We can talk a little bit more about it as the days go on. Um, but pickleball is an absolutely amazing way to go out and meet people, start conversations and just have like pretty easy at bats of, of having conversations with people. Um, anyway, my client called me and they wanted to see a house that was happening like right then. And, um, I said, yeah, that's totally fine. Like I'm in my pickleball clothes, but like, I'll come and meet you. And so I essentially just went straight there and I met them at, it was an open house and we walked through and we like, I walked up with the clients and there was an agent that was at the door because it was her open house. And she um, kind of was like, like, hi, who are you? Like wanting to get information. And I was like, oh, I'm an agent. And she looked at me like up and down and like just gave me this look like you're an agent. Because again, I was in my like tank top, tank top and shorts. And it was just so funny because like the judgment was just like spewing from her of like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you are like with clients right now and you're not like all dressed up to the nines. And it was hilarious because as we were leaving, um, it was towards the end of the open house. So the agent was outside and obviously we were far away from each other, but um, my client said, um, I have a convertible little like uh, M4 convertible. And so it was in the middle of where I had the top down. I had my rather, red leather seats and things like that. And she was like, they were like, I bet she doesn't drive this car. And it's probably because she has a stick up or you know what? And like her clients don't like, you can sell houses in your shorts and t-shirts and like run circles around her, like dressed up to the nines. So anyway, it was just funny because again, for my clients, they were totally fine with the way that I show up and because I have substance and I actually do care about what it is that they want. And I answer my phone and I was willing to drop what I had to do with what I was doing and go and actually meet them right then and there. And so I think that if you can get um, clarity around who you are, it will give you the confidence to, to show up in those situations um, in your own way. Charlotte agrees with me about the scripts. I like that. Thank you. So um, another thing that I want you to think about is what is your superpower? Okay. So if you think of an alter ego, you think of Superman and Clark Kent, he puts on his glasses and all of a sudden now he's um, back to Clark Kent. Um, so think of something that you can do, um, especially if you're like new at this and you don't have a lot of confidence around it. Think of something that will help you, um, get into that, that character, get into that, um, that confidence around who you are so that you can show up more authentically. If it needs to be like something physical, again, it could be, I wear this color when I go on listing presentations, like it could be, I wear glasses or I have this certain thing that makes me feel, I'm sure you've all heard of the like Superman pose that when you're going like onto stage or you're going into, if you're a Grey's Anatomy person, you watch um, Meredith as she like stands like this before she goes into surgery. Um, but it's the same concept behind that. Um, but play into your strengths. So are you a connector? Are you someone that knows everyone? You've been in the town forever. Your family name is well known. Like 
go with that. But if you're not, if you are, um, you know, a little bit more of like an introvert, but you love social media and you love that aspect of it, um, or are you a salesman? Again, like I am not the sell sand at the beach or sell ketchup to someone with white gloves. That is not my approach, but it does work for some people. So just figure out um, what your, your skills and your strengths are, and then build your strategy around that because there's no point in trying to become something that you're not. There's obviously skills that you can gain and there's classes that you can take. And, um, you know, like for me, video is one of those things. Um, video is extremely important in this business, but there are little tricks and things that you can do to become more confident and to, to, um, increase that skill set. But as an overall strategy, play into who you are as a person and create your strategy around that. Um, so one of the things that I, um, want to share with you guys, um, Ray, maybe you can grab the link too. Um, but it's called big Vu. Um, and essentially what this is, um, is a teleprompting app and you go in and you create your script and you can either do it by bullet points or you can actually like write the whole thing out. And within the app, you um, type out your whole script and then you hit record and it takes it so that your phone is a teleprompter and you can set it how um, like fast you want it as far as like the um, words per minute that you're speaking. Um, or again, you can just create bullet points so you kind of don't lose your train of thought when you're think when you're talking. Um, but it has transformed the way like my comfort level on video. Um, but so being able to like script out from your transaction processes to marketing messages, if you're going to post things on social media and you like are nervous and you don't want to like go live, it's extremely helpful for you to just kind of um, be able to relax and but also not be always looking off to the screen because trust me, I've done that as well. Like early on, like when I first was doing my videos, it's like, I've got post-it notes like in the back and I'm like holding up signs, like trying to like make sure that I know what I'm saying. Um, it's very difficult to, um, yeah, not have a script. And like, especially when you're new, um, What's the name again? It's called Big Vu. So Ray just put it in the links here. So click on that link um, and you can download it. Okay, someone says, thank you. That is my frustration. Yes, it will definitely change your business. Um, just having that one thing, um, it's extremely helpful. Um, let's see, I wanted to, okay. I do want to leave time for questions and I want to, um, you know, open things up, um, for people. So essentially to, um, today's homework is I want you to, um, make sure that you're, uh, or essentially what we're going to share with you a, um, a template for your social media profiles. Um, but I don't want you to actually like finish it till tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to go into, um, it's like your value proposition statement of who you're helping and how you're going to help them. And by doing, um, it's like, I help so-and-so by doing so-and-so without so-and-so. So this is our little thing that we're going to work on tomorrow, but, um, your social media profile is going to, um, state that so that you are, again, that's part of your pitch and how you're showing up. Um, another part of that is just branding in general. So um, we also have options, Ray, if you want to kind of just tell people a little bit about that um, from a, a, a brand standpoint of just the things that we, you know, offer if they need help coming up with a branding message and um, some of those social media templates and things like that. 
Yeah, we honestly can do pretty much everything for you. If you are like, I have no idea what to post on social media, we can create a whole strategy for you. If you're like, I just want to know what to post tomorrow, we can literally tell you what to post because trends are a trend. It will happen and it will be gone in two days. And Sarah has this really cool thing where we actually just text a lot of our agents and say like, Hey, today you should post this because this is what is trending right now in the real estate market. So we could do stuff like that. If you just simply don't even want to do your social media, we can also do that for you. We can create templates for you. Um, if you want to start a Facebook group of your own and start a community, we can create groups for you because those are time extensive with like all the settings and things. And we've had many groups built, many, many. <laughs> I think we have over like a hundred now. So we have mastered it and we understand it sucks to have to like go through that and try to figure out even what to do. So we do that. We can do just little things, even if you wanted like a business card to be made or like branding. If you're like, I don't even have branding. I don't have colors. I don't have like my superpower name, like my alter ego name, like Sarah has, like if you just want us to um, help you with just business strategy in general, if you're just starting from the ground up and you're like, I have no idea what to do, or even we've had agents come to us a year in and they're like, I'm just stuck. I feel like I wasn't taught what I needed to know in school. And I just need a little bit of refresh on like what is actually working. Sarah has coached a lot of um, agents in that too. So yeah, even if you have a question about like, if you guys have ever used Linktree, a lot of people put that in their um, Instagram bios. Like we can make link trees for you. Like just anything, feel free to ask us. But yeah, Sarah and I can have done it all. We really have. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Um, yeah. So yes, we're going to share with you um, that temp the template up front. That's essentially just for your social media profile. Um, you can just kind of start playing around with that. Um, but I, I want you to go out and fill out that dream client worksheet and then, um, start thinking about your niche. Okay. So I, um, I did, I'll just preface this, that buyers and sellers is not a niche. Okay. Um, so I want you to think about the examples that I was giving earlier of the, those pains of, are you working with the move up buyer that's looking to, you know, move into a um, uh, maybe larger and nicer home? Are you working with the downsizer, someone that's wanting to maybe go into a 55 and older community? Are you working with um, people that are relocating? Do you focus on um, people that are moving in from out of town? Are you helping new home buyers? Those are niches. Those are like customer journeys. So I want you to start thinking about that. We're going to give you a ton of stuff tomorrow about understanding that and getting a, a lot more specific and then your strategy around that. But I just want you to this evening start thinking about it so that your juices are flowing so that tomorrow you'll be able to really um, like hone in and become more specific. So at least kind of start thinking about those things. Um so I am going to stop my share and open it up for questions um, so far. Uh, you can either just like pipe up or I think you can raise your hands, but um, essentially we've got nine more minutes. And so I just want to leave this open and I'm an open book. We'll answer any questions that you have um, and help in any way that we can. Someone has to have a big burning question. Can we get a link for the character diamond? Yes. And we'll send this all out in email form. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll send it. Uh, we've got a question from Angelina. Um, go ahead and unmute yourself there. Hi, I just wanted to ask. Oh, I don't need to press the button. Sorry. Um, I was going to ask. For the upcoming meetings, will we be on Zoom all week? And is it at the same time? Where do we go? Yes. So it will be, um, I will figure out, I, you can broadcast into Facebook. I apologize, everyone. Um, 
uh, we kind of like switched. I was going to do it on Zoom and then I was like, oh, I'll just do it live on Facebook. Um, I can go live from Zoom. So um, it will, it should be on both tomorrow, but you will get an email as well um, that will have the Zoom link and the link to the Facebook group. So I apologize. Um, okay. You're getting... Yeah, sometimes there's technical difficulties and it just is what it is. So I appreciate you being going great. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, you can watch a replay. Um, we will post that in the group and then we'll also be sending an email. Um, if Are the text messages annoying? Did people get the text messages? Um, those of you that put your um, phone number, is that okay that I text you? I'm not trying to like, bombard you but I know for me like especially when you're in real estate and there's like 85 things it's like oh yeah I totally forgot I was supposed to watch that <laughs> um so yeah obviously um it's great if you guys can come um live each day um I have done challenges like this in the past and I know for me personally, when I'm not there, it's very, very, very difficult to take the time to actually go back and watch a replay. Um, and so it's, you know, if there's any way for you to set a reminder in your phone and just come, I, I am very mindful of people's time. So I do start on time today um, was some technical difficulties, but my goal is to really start right um, at the top of the hour and, you know, deliver value and, and share the whole time. Um, and we'll also end on time. You say on time, is that going to be one hour every day? Yes. Can I, can I do a quick comment too? Of course. It's actually a shout out here. Uh, Mr. Robert Kavarik. Is that your name? I think it's right. Your background is epic. I love your custom background. <laughs> oh, now I got, I'm not, code it's not on my screen. Like, that's I got really cool. this. Very cool. I appreciate that. <laughs> Where is Robert? Why can't I see him? Look for the right blue X. For for me. It's like a blue X. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yes, I see. Very cool. All right. Um, was this helpful? Yes. So, like, I'll be fully transparent. Like, I don't do this all the time. Like, Ray and I like Ray's probably like, oh my gosh, if Sarah has another crazy idea, I swear. But um, we have like, we've done the reps. And so, um, you know, it's one of those things. It's sometimes hard to share everything that's in your brain um, because it does come it, we we've, we've been doing it long enough that it feels natural. Um, and so um, I apologize if I'm not always fantastic at um, getting everything out and explaining it in detail, but um, I hope it was helpful. Um, I offered everyone a cup of coffee. If I wasted your hour today, let me know and I will send you a Starbucks. Um, let's see off topic. I was going to sign up. People are warm. Oh, good question. Um, your monthly post ideas. So we will, um, be going over, we're kind of changing some of our strategies as far as like the different offerings, which again, Ray probably wants to punch me in the face all the time. Um, but like, to be honest, um, I do this in a way, um, that is, different than a lot of coaches out there. So a lot of times people come up with this like great idea and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do this and this and this. Um, I listen to you guys. And so like my offerings change based on the needs of my clients. And so, um, you know, I, I try to like think of myself as an agent, as a new person of what I wanted and what I needed. Um, and I try to kind of help people and create programs around that. Um, but a lot of times I get into it and what people are asking for is different. And so um, 
I, I don't try to like put you guys all in one box of like, this is what we're offering and this is what it is because I truly do care about you as an individual agent. Um, and I, I want it to be something that works for you and your business and your strategy. Um, obviously I have my like main frameworks that I enjoy and I feel like are, um, useful, especially for those newer agents that don't have a big referral network and things like that. Um, but I try to create stuff that is really what you guys are asking for. Not a waste of time. Thank you, Amy. Look at us. We've got three minutes. Does anyone else have, what questions do you have? It doesn't have to be about your pitch. It can be about anything. Mine isn't really a question. Mine's more of, um, I really like your message in this first day and how you like to lead with value rather than trying to ask for the sale. Um, and, and like you said, you mentioned that you're not trying to capitalize on every client that you speak to, and you're not trying to close every possible loan that you can. Um, and you're really, you know, narrowing it down for what kind of clientele you, you want to work with and those people you want to work with. And I, I think that makes a huge difference um, especially on your own mental health when you're going, okay, this is the kind of client that I'm not going to work with. I'm not going to put myself through that. Um, and I think that's really important to the longevity of not burning out in this kind of career in this industry. So I, I want to, yeah, I think it's one of those things like, you know, I use the, it's like be on, don't sell on your toes, sell on your heels. Um, and I know that it's difficult when you're brand new and you actually are like starving and you need that next paycheck. But if you can get to that place mentally where you're not forcing yourself on someone, even if you are desperate and you actually really need the sale so bad, if you can fake it until you make it that you are confident and like, I like, if you, if you work with me, great. Like it does, it's not an arrogance thing. It's not like a screw you. Like I don't need you. That's not what it is. It's that I know that I will make money if I lead with value and help enough people. And regardless, so I don't need to keep asking for the sale because I know that I'm delivering value. And in the end, it means that I sell houses. And so when I come to a pickleball game or I come to a networking event, I am genuinely asking people what they're doing, where they're from, why they're here, because I actually want to know. And it turns into real conversations that eventually they end up asking me, well, what is it? I'll move them out of the stall so you can guys can go in there. Um, what right is it here. that you do? And it, it's like, oh, actually, well, you know how you guys are here from out of town. I actually help people that um, are trying to relocate here from another area. Um, and I help them get acclimated and um, learn the different um, things about the community and get them into the right networks of finding the right doctors and um, finding out what neighborhoods are best and things like that. I help people with that transition process. That is a lot less pitchy than... I'm a real estate agent. Are you guys planning on moving here? Because if I could send you some listings, um, I, I would love to get your email. Do you see the difference in that approach? And it can smell any time that you try and start pushing or you're just looking for a sale. I mean, any buyer, even you yourself, when a salesman comes up to you and starts trying to offer something, you can smell it. You know it and your guard immediately shoots up and you go, mm, I'm not saying yes to anything right now. So my fiance and I are always like experimenting in every situation that we are. And we literally play a game of like, who can go the longest without saying what we do or who we are. And like, then who gets asked first from the other people? Like people want to like pull it out of us because I, I will not tell someone that I'm a real estate agent. Like I wait until they ask me what I do. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> All right. Well, we will see you back here tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's going to be a good one. It's all about the um, niche 
and um, narrowing in on your target customer, understanding their needs, their fears, their frustrations, and learning to create messaging around that, um, that you are speaking to their pains uh, and explaining them better than they can explain it for themselves. So it's going to be a great day and it will be a lot more um, like Appli not applicable, but again, like I think this today was more of just kind of like a little bit of an overview of the program and um, kind of learning a little bit more about like me and how I approach things. Um, and so hopefully tomorrow we'll really be able to dig into your ideal customers and who it is that we're going to help you guys help. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, feel free to message us um, on, go on and also like our biz babes, biz babes page. Um, and we can message on there as well. Um, if you have any questions and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. End recording.